this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location at a very, very heavy battle, as you can see. And we are at the Maker Fair here with Dan Rigachevich, and he is one of the founders of this very, very violent, violent sea battle. So tell us about it, Dan. How did you, how in, what in the world were you thinking when you came up with this? Well, we started playing this back in like 1985. Okay. And uh, it started with a group up in Washington. And we found out about them and we basically uh, attached ourselves to that group. So we started Western Warship Combat Club, WWCC, uh, and it has progressed to what you see at this particular time. I see the Soviet flag, you know, that's my homeland. I was actually born in the Soviet Union. Well, all of the flags represent the countries that were fighting in World War II. Oh, okay. The Soviets, believe it or not, in that time period, did have a navy. Oh, I know they had a navy, because when I was little, the only thing we could watch was World War II movies. Right, right, right. So they kind of glorified it, but even though they probably sat in port most of the time. Oh. No, I'm just saying because the, the ports they were in were either blockaded by the Germans down or Murmansk, which of course is way up north, and it was... They couldn't get no action. Oh, no, I wasn't very good in those days. We are wearing safety goggles, right. just in case uh, our viewers didn't notice that. So are the, the, the they're actually shooting yes. weapons at each yep. other. The cameraman and this microphone has been able to pick it up. This is Lexan in front of us. And it's to protect us, even though we're wearing safety glasses, this protects 90% of the shots. You can hear it hit. Those are little guns on those ships that are shooting at each other. Well, that particular vessel that's heading right towards us with the peppermint stripes on it is an Italian cruiser, and it has torpedo guns. You see the, right, you see that? That's the only thing it has on it. And what it does is it shoots its quarter-inch ball bearings, goes back to shore, reloads its air, and reloads the ball bearings and puts it back out in the water again. So this is a very, very dangerous, violent battle. It, it, it is. It is. Uh, I you had any casualties? Uh, not no, by casualties. What do we? <laughs> uh, I, I've had I've had a uh, ball bearing stuck in my my hand, oh, really? and basically I just. That's hot. You have to. I mean, competition. The heck with the wound, you know. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look. I just saw it shooting. Yeah. So I'm here with Carl the Pirate. So, Carl, you, it looks like your boat was really no match for <laughs> the World War II boats. Well, it actually did pretty good until the electronics got wet inside, and then oh. it lost control. Oh, okay. So tell us um, about your transmitter and your boat. You built this yourself? Yes, I built it myself. It's the smallest fully functional merchant ship in the Western Warship Combat Club. Oh, wow. And does it have a name? Yes, this ship is called the Willy Make It. Uh, and tell us about your transmitter. Like, wh what does it do and how does it get to the, to the Willy Make It? So this radio is a modern 2.4 gigahertz radio. It operates on a fairly standard frequency. Uh, I've got a stick that controls throttle and rudder and another stick that controls the pumps. I love your outfit. You're a very dashing pirate. Why, thank you. Yeah. We, we were, I was looking for a mini you, like a little mini Carl. Uh, I'll be working on that once I get the rest of the ship working. Okay. And I enjoy your hair. Here, we'll show our audience your hair. Look at this beautiful pirate, uh, pirate ponytail. So this is what a real pirate looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Arr, ahoy! <laughs> So, where, where did you get this outfit? Uh, Army surplus. <laughs> and where did you get this? <laughs> uh, uh, that was inherited when my mother, uh, you know. He got it from his mama. Well, no, jeans, jeans, okay? Jeans. So, are you, were you in the Navy yourself? Or? No, I was not in the Navy, but in the 1970s, I'm a crane operator by trade, uh -huh. and we were cutting ships up. Oh. One of them being the USS Hancock, another one being the USS uh, Kearsage, the USS Hope hospital ship, so on and so forth. Uh, so I got my interest kind of with the ships and that. I was also a war gamer. Oh. I did a lot of naval war gaming. Okay. So I know a lot about ships, statistics, and everything else These you can do. like tactical games. These aren't yes. internet games, yes, or do you get well, in? Well, you, you can do it on the internet. Right now the craze is a game called Jutland. 
and uh, a lot of people are playing it. I like to paint miniatures up and that like you see out here, only of course out here we're actually using them for combat. So one more question. Can I try in your hat? Yeah, you can try my hat on. <laughs> Heck yeah. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, closing out for the Battle of World War II, sort of. <laughs>